Hello everyone, welcome to Multilingual, happy to see you here. In today's video you're going to practice a very important skill in any language and in English as well, asking questions. But it's not about how to structure the question, I have a very helpful video on this topic already, so if you want to learn how to structure a question, which word comes next, it's better if you watch this video of mine, asking questions there, I explain to you in detail how to do that. No, in today's video it's more like, you know, kind of practice. This is how it's going to work. I'll be giving you different situations, for example, have a look at this one. You have a friend who is learning Arabic, what would you ask him? And then I'll give you some prompts, some words, and out of these words you'll have to form the question. I'll give you 10 seconds to think and then you'll have to come up with the question. For example, here I have the prompts how long you learn Arabic and because of the word of the question word how long, you, I, I expect from you to give me the question in present perfect continuous and the right answer is how long have you been learning Arabic? How long have you been learning Arabic? This is what you would ask your friend. How long have you been learning Arabic? Right? So this is how it's going to work. I'll be giving you a situation, some prompts, 10 seconds to think, and then I'll give you the right answer. Let's begin. Oh, just a small hint for you, there'll be a lot of present perfect continuous and a lot of present perfect. So if you still have difficulties with these tenses, check out this video of mine because there I'm explaining to you how to form these tenses. Okay, now let's begin. The situation number one, you've just arrived to meet a friend who is waiting for you. What would you ask them? Wait long. What would you ask your friend? And the right answer is, have you been waiting long? This is also one of the situations when it's better to use present perfect continuous because there was an ongoing action that has just stopped at the moment when you arrived. So the best answer would be, have you been waiting long? If you said, are you waiting long? Um, this is not like completely incorrect, but the thing is that the person is no longer waiting. So actually, are you waiting? Um, it's like, it's not appropriate here. So the better question would be, have you been waiting long? I hope you did that well. Okay, let's go to the next one. You meet a professional traveler what would you ask him? Where be to? <laughs> okay, I hope it helps to form a question. Where be to? What is the correct answer? Okay, and the correct answer is, or the correct question is, where have you been to? We need to use present perfect. Where have you been to? Because this person is a professional traveler and is still active in traveling and hasn't finished with traveling yet. And up to now, this person has been to different countries. And my question is, where have you been to? Up to now, what countries have you been to? What countries have you visited? Right? So present perfect in this situation. Let's go to the next one. Some friends of yours are having a party next week. You ask them, who invite? What is the right question? Hmm. Please pay attention to the fact that the party is taking place next week. It's not finished yet. <laughs> okay, and the right answer is who have you invited? Because the party is taking place in the future, next week, and my friend might still invite someone for the party. 
or to the party. So I want to know up to this moment, who have you invited to the party? Present perfect would be the best tense in this situation. Who have you invited? Who have you invited? Who have you invited to the party? And when the party is over, I can say, who did you invite to the party last Saturday? Who did you invite? Who was there? Who arrived? All right, let's go to the next one. Remember the example at the beginning with a friend learning Arabic? I have a similar question for you. The next situation is, a friend of yours is a rider. A rider, I mean a horse rider. You ask him, how long you ride? What is the correct question? Remember what we use with how long? I'm sure you'll come up with the right question. And the answer is, how long have you been writing? Again, because of the question, how long, I want to know from this time and up to now, how long have you been writing? Present perfect continuous. Next, situation number five. You meet someone who is a writer. What would you ask this person? How many books you write? How many books you write? What do you think is the right question? Hmm. And the answer is, how many books have you written? How many books have you written? Again, we use present perfect because we want to know up to now, because you are still an active writer, you might write more books in the future, but up to now, how many books have you written? If we're talking about a person, a writer who is no longer alive, let's take Shakespeare. We can ask, how many books did Shakespeare write? We use the past tense because the person is no longer alive and cannot write any more books. So here, did. How many books did you write? But when the person is still alive and is still active as a writer, we ask, how many books have you written? How many books have you written? Present perfect. The situation number six, and here I have two questions for you. Let's imagine a friend of yours is saving money for a house. You ask, you save a lot? How long you save? What are the questions? Okay, you know the trick was how long, right? It's not a problem for you. But what about the first one? And the answer? The first one is how long, sorry, that's not the first one, that's the second one. Have you saved a lot? Have you saved a lot? Again, up to now, yes? The friend is still saving, but up to now. Have you saved a lot? Have you saved a lot of, have you saved a lot of money for the house? And the second one is, how long have you been saving? How long have you been saving for the house? From here up to now, how long have you been saving? I think all of my students, anyone who I teach, knows the trick with how long. I also want you to know the trick. Whenever you say how long, automatically use present perfect continuous or present perfect usually. Not 100%. Of course, we have to look at the situation, but mostly, how long have you been? Okay, guys, in the second part of this video, let's just practice asking more questions. Here is the first prompt for you. How long you work for? What is the question? How long have you been working for? Right? How long plus present perfect continuous. You work all day today. Here you have two options. Have you been working all day today? Or if the person has just finished, maybe you can say, have you worked all day today? How long you have your car? Present perfect. Present perfect continuous is not possible here. How long have you had your car? 
And the last one, how long you know your best friend? How long have you known your best friend? The verb to know is a non-continuous verb, so, long, so how long have you been knowing is not possible. How long have you known? In this case, only present perfect is possible because the verb to know is a non-continuous verb. You cannot say, how long have you been knowing? That sounds strange. I hope you liked this video and it helped you understand how to ask questions in present perfect continuous and in present perfect because I think it's one of the most difficult tenses in English and yeah, you have to understand it and you have to take it in, you know. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below. Ask your own question. You can ask me a question. How long have you had your car? How long have you been teaching? Whatever you want to know. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.